Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I just need to let you know that I have a neighbor who plays the guitar, like classic guitar, every day between three and four. He's super nice, my neighbor, um, and I actually find it quite cozy when he plays. Um, it's like clockwork every day at three o'clock, and then he finishes up at four. So if you hear something in the background or from beneath, he lives beneath me, swearing or guitar notes or anything like that. It's probably just him. Just wanted to put that out there. So in today's video, I wanted to do something that I've been doing quite a lot over the years, I guess. This is just kind of a different format. It's all about how to build chic outfits on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you're in a rush or just, you know, in a busy everyday life, you want to be able to create some outfits that are chic and that makes you feel amazing and great. Often most of us want to be able to do this fast, often because we might have a very tight schedule or maybe we just don't want to spend too much time fussing around with what to wear. We just want to spend our time on something else and something probably a bit more important. Not saying that style and fashion is not important because that's you know one of my own biggest passions, but there are definitely other things in life that is more important. It might be a bit out there to say that you're able to build the perfect outfit in five minutes. Maybe it will be 10 or 15, maybe 20 minutes sometimes. Sometimes you just want to spend more time on finding the perfect outfit. I quite enjoy digging into my wardrobe personally and I don't want to necessarily do it fast every single time. Like if I have a special occasion or if I'm gonna go traveling or something like that, I definitely like spending more time building the perfect outfit. Why are we not focused? But on a day-to-day -day basis, I just want to be snappy. I just want to create a great outfit. So that's what today's video is gonna be all about. I guess this video is kind of similar to one that I did a while back about how to elevate your basic looks into more chic looks. So very like hands-on ideas and tips on how to do that. This is just more generally speaking. So I really hope that this video can provide you lots of inspiration, especially if you don't necessarily have the same style as me and you just want to get dressed in a rush, basically. So I have six different tips that I want to share with you today and I think that we should just get started. The first step is also the most important step and it's something that's probably pretty obvious to me and my content and my channel in general, but it is to structure your wardrobe. You could build a capsule wardrobe, that's something that I've been doing myself for I think at least three and a half years now, getting closer to four years. Wow, has it been that long? But yeah, building a capsule wardrobe is definitely a great way to structure your wardrobe. You don't necessarily have to do a capsule wardrobe. There are a lot of like other great YouTubers and bloggers and personal stylists and just other people who have come up with other systems that might work better for other types of people. The capsule wardrobe system just works great for me. In any case, it's super important that you take some time to really nail your wardrobe, to really structure it, to really get to the bottom of what your style is. So the reason why I love the capsule wardrobe system is because you find out what your style is, you find out what style suits your life, all while you look chic at the same time and you know you create some outfits that work for you and that you feel amazing in but it has to fit the life and the lifestyle that you have the job that you have everything can be combined all together everything fits the season that we're currently in um, so you pack away anything that's off season so you don't have to worry about that or think about that so it just takes a lot of the workload off your shoulders in a busy day-to-day -day life so building a capsule wardrobe or at least structuring your wardrobe in a way that works for you is definitely first the first and most important step in building the perfect outfit. If you're not so much about the whole capsule wardrobe system, if you do in fact enjoy having a lot of different options when you open your wardrobe, then maybe having a rack outside of your wardrobe or even if you have room for it inside of your, your wardrobe, your closet space, you could like hang some items on there that you want to wear for the coming week or you could even like plan out the entire week, but maybe just Monday to Friday. Spend some time Sunday evening on planning the outfits you want to wear from Monday to Friday and then hang them on that rack. Or like I said, it could be just like specific items that you want to become better at wearing, something that you might forget sometimes in the midst of all of your other clothes. Hang them on that rack so you remember or you remind yourself to actually wear these. And then obviously you can rotate as you like, you can switch up everything each Sunday maybe if you're not in for the whole capsule wardrobe system. So definitely structuring your wardrobe in some way or the other, find out what works for you, is my top tip. 
So the second tip that I want to share with you is somewhat of a no-brainer because I think most of us do this without even thinking about it, but it is choosing an item and then kind of work your way around that. So usually in the morning when I look at my at my own wardrobe, um, I have most of my everyday wear on a rack hanging out in the open so I can admire it. What I was saying is that when I get dressed in the morning, I usually like to pick out an item and then work my way around that. So depending on what I'm in the mood for, that because I very much dress based on my mood, really. I'm one of those, I guess, kind of creative people who like to rotate a lot. I don't like to have too many like fixed outfits or things like that. I like to kind of dress for the way I feel when I wake up in the morning. So some days I feel like wearing a jumper and a pair of jeans. Other days I feel like dressing up a bit more. It kind of depends on my mood, basically. So I will pick out an item from my wardrobe and then I will kind of like hold it against what else I have in my wardrobe. Now, because I have a capsule wardrobe, everything pretty much goes with each other. I know that everything can kind of be combined all together. But a very hands-on tip is definitely to take this item in your hand and then kind of like hold it up against the other items that you have in your wardrobe and kind of like see how the colors fit together, get a sense of how these two items would look together. So usually it's some sort of a blouse and a pair of jeans, or maybe it's a t-shirt and a blazer and a pair of trousers. So, so yeah, pick out sort of like a primary item that you want to work your way around and then build your outfit from there. So the next step is definitely to pick out the other items that you want to pair this primary item with. And here I really like to think about balance. Again, I know that most of the items I have in my capsule wardrobe can be mixed and matched all together, but I do still like to keep balance in mind. Let me just say quickly that I don't follow a lot of style rules. Like I wear what I feel great in and what I think looks good on me. So I don't follow a lot of like body type style rules, a lot of like what fits my color style rules. I wear what I like. But definitely if this doesn't come natural to you or if you just don't feel that comf confident or if you are starting sort of from scratch and you just want to nail your body type once and for all, you want to know what like suits your body type according to different kinds of style rules or if you want to know what kind of color suits your skin tone, all that kind of thing. I'm gonna link some great videos and some other fellow YouTubers down below who make amazing content and who really knows their stuff. I just don't really have enough knowledge to be able to share that on my own channel because I don't really think so much about these things. So if you feel like you're completely lost in this whole thing, like body types and, and you know choosing colors that fit your skin tone, um, you should really go a couple of steps back because that's in the whole process of building your capsule wardrobe. You need to figure that whole thing out there. So go back a few steps if you don't know. <laughs> Going back to picking my own outfits, um, what I would do next is definitely to try to balance things out. So usually I like to pick, if I pick an item that is sort of loosely fitted or slouchy on the top, I like to choose something that's more fitted on the bottom. That's a very like old school, like one of the oldest tricks in the book. I definitely know that and I know that most of you probably already know this, but it's definitely something I like to do as well without even thinking about it. Vice versa, I like to choose an item that's more fitted on the top if I chose to wear something very slouchy on the bottom. In general, I'm not a huge fan of very fitted tops. Like I definitely feel better personally when I'm wearing something a bit slouchy. Even when I'm wearing t-shirts like I'm wearing today, I always like to size up at least one size so it fits a bit more slouchy and not completely fitted. I always tend to choose something that is slightly loose fitted anyway. Um, so don't follow that rule myself 100%, but a lot along the way, especially if I'm wearing something very loose on the top, I definitely like to go for skinny jeans because I just think that it creates a, a great balance, especially if you're very petite like me. I am 167 centimeters tall. I know that's not very petite, that's actually very normal, but sometimes I can feel kind of like I'm drowning in fabric if I wear something that's just super oversized all over the body. Sometimes though I will say I do like to wear an all slouchy outfit, especially if I'm wearing like a pair of black white leg -like dress pants. I actually really love to put on a loose fitted um, blouse or shirt on top of that and then a blazer. I love that very, kind of like a very elegant slouchy look if that makes sense. So again, I don't follow these rules 100%, but a lot along the way I definitely do. I feel like this video is such a no-brainer. It's like how we all get dressed every day, but I really hope that this is helpful. So when I have the base done, I've chosen my top, my bottom and the shoes that I want to wear, maybe even the jacket that I want to wear. It's time to add 
some accessories. And for me, accessories and jewelry really finish up any kind of look, especially because I have a very simple, very basic, probably boring to some people style. Accessories and jewelry are definitely a must for me. This is actually one of the oldest tricks in the book, I think, but it's something I absolutely love doing. And I think it, again, it creates a great balance in any outfit and it's matching my shoes, my bag, and maybe even my belt. So I'm speaking color here. So if I'm wearing a pair of brown loafers, for example, I love pairing those with my brown bag from Oh My Bag because I just think it creates such a nice balance. It ties the color in nice together. And again, I feel like this is something that my dad used to do, like definitely pair the belt and the shoes in the same color, um, but it just works. Like there's a reason why it works. And it's just because the color is like, it just looks great, I think. That being said, it's not like I never wear my brown back with anything else but my brown loafers. I definitely wear it sometimes. If I'm wearing an all black look, I feel like that brown back can sort of be like my pop of color. Just thinking about tying in the whole thing together. Um, I don't have a brown belt, but it's something I've been thinking about buying for a really long time. So might see if I can find one very soon. But yeah, the same way around, if I'm wearing black boots, I love putting on a black belt and then a black bag. I just think it looks great and looks very chic and very put together. I'm very slapdash with these kind of things. So I will again, kind of like do this based upon how I feel. So if I feel like going all out on accessories and putting on a hat and a scarf and a bag and a belt and everything, I will. But sometimes I just like it more simple. It kind of, again, depends on my mood. I think the most important thing again is to make sure from the very beginning that everything goes together. So that way you can't really make any mistakes. You know, you can add things to an outfit, it will look great. You can take some of it away. You can wear no, no accessories at all. It will still look great. So again, that's the whole point with, with a very thought out capsule wardrobe, really. So regarding jewelry, some of you might know that I have my own jewelry brand that I've created with a German company called Stillness. So I have my own brand called Useless Jewelry because my channel is called Useless. Um, everything is ethically made by hand in Germany. Everything is made to order, so we don't mass produce any of the jewelry. Everything is made in recycled materials and responsibly made as well as all ethically made. So. Um, I'm very proud of this jewelry collection and I actually launched a few new designs on Monday this week. I also have a discount coming up for you in two weeks. Um, so definitely sign up for the newsletter or follow the Instagram account for my jewelry brand because I will announce everything there as well so you know when to be aware of these things. But yeah, I'm so proud of this jewelry collection and I feel like this is my own personal dream jewelry collection, my own personal like dream jewelry stash to be honest so yeah if you see anything you like from my collection definitely make sure to check it out after watching this video there are a few different pieces to choose from and it's all highly inspired by the capsule wardrobe system where you invest in some pieces and then you can kind of mix and match everything so you can create new combinations every single day without actually buying new jewelry all the time. So that's kind of the whole idea behind my collection. So it just adds a final like exclusive touch to any outfit. I feel like you can almost wear no makeup and then just have a very well thought out outfit um, with some great heavy basics and then just stack on a lot of jewelry and then, you know, maybe just some concealer, a bit of mascara, and then you look top notch in my opinion. So that's definitely a great way to get dressed fast because you basically just need to get dressed, put on the jewelry, a little bit of makeup, and then you're good to go. You guys also know that if I'm going to a special occasion or to an event, um, I often like to wear maybe just this very simple all black kind of outfit or just, you know, simple everyday wear really, like a blazer, a white t-shirt, a pair of jeans, and maybe a pair of heels. And then I'll just stack on a lot of jewelry, amp the whole thing up a bit. Really, that's what I wear on a daily basis as well. So I guess the only thing that really stands out are the heels because I don't really wear heels on a daily basis, but I think you guys get the gist. So let's stay with the final touches. So with the fifth step, that's definitely all about those final little details. So that could be something like rolling up the sleeves on your shirt or your blouse, maybe rolling up the um, hemlines on your jeans, something that can sort of give any outfit an effortless vibe, but definitely still looks cool and great and well thought out without looking slouchy and sloppy, if that makes sense. Again, it's a matter of style and it definitely depends on the work environment that you find yourself in every day. For me, this is something that I love doing. I love this very effortless 
cool laid back kind of look so yeah the fifth step is definitely all about those final touches that you can do like scan through your outfit and see if there are any hemlines or any sleeves you can roll up any like um sleeves you can just maybe ruche up or anything like that to give a cool effortless vibe so the sixth and final tip that i want to share with you is kind of a more hands-on and more practical step i guess um, this is something that I've mentioned before, so nothing new there, but if you need some more hands-on and even faster ways to pick out an outfit from your wardrobe, I can highly recommend you to use the wardrobe app called Cladwell. I've mentioned it 100 times on my channel before, and I know that some of you are probably bored to death with me of always mentioning this app, but for me, if I need some help packing, or again, if I need just to find a quick outfit, um, if I'm in a like super in a rush or just feel kind of uninspired and I don't know what to wear because that does happen sometimes even for me um, if I just need some inspiration on how to put together items in a way that I wouldn't have come up with myself because it's like 6 a.m. in the morning I'm tired and I'm in a rush I like to turn to Clatwell because it's a visual wardrobe app where you can put in your entire wardrobe and then it will generate outfits for you automatically it's not all outfits that work, but I will say if you have a very well thought out um, wardrobe and if you make sure to only include like your everyday wear, so don't include things like loungewear and things like that into the same wardrobe, keep them for themselves. They don't need to like meddle up with your everyday wear. So only the great pieces in the visual, visual wardrobe and then it will generate a lot of great outfits. Um, it's also a great tool just in the whole planning process when it comes to planning your capsule wardrobe, even in like the first stages, because it can show you whether things look nice together or not. And if you can't combine a certain item in many different ways, or if you just don't like how it looks with what you, what else you have in that visual wardrobe, maybe it shouldn't be part of it, if you know what I mean. So definitely a great tool, not only in terms of building your capsule wardrobe, but also just to create quick, great outfits on a day-to-day -day basis. So usually what I will do when I open up the Cladwell app is that I will pick one of the outfits that it suggests based upon the weather because that can actually do that, which I think is so clever. Or I will just browse through the entire library of outfits and then just pick any random outfit that I like, get dressed and then I'm out the door. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope it was not a complete no-brainer. I really hope that it gave you some hands-on tips on creating great outfits on a day-to-day -day basis if you're in a rush or just if you don't want to fuss around too much with your daily outfits. Let me know down below if you have more tips that you would like to share with me. Also remember, I'm gonna be linking some other fellow YouTubers who also make amazing capsule wardrobe content, especially if you want to learn what colors look great on your skin tone or if you want to learn how to dress for your body type, if that's something you don't feel very confident with. I will also be linking all of the items I've been wearing in this video or at least similar sustainable options down below. Do make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button if you did enjoy this video. Also make sure to follow me over on Instagram for daily outfit updates. That would make me so happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.